Really? No. <laughs> what did you just say, Jessica? What just happened? <laughs> I'm gay, I'm allowed to do that. Is she, she just yeah. perfect? No! I did not. Okay, we're all very hyper. It's very crap. No! Get out of my bag! You can't break my shit! She's not here, bro. She's not here, unfortunately. So I'm just gonna do the sectional thing. Okay! Did anybody read that article on slut pride in the paper? Slut pride? What? Slut pride. Oh um, yeah, the slut. I would be all for that article. Yeah, tell me about it. Oh, I didn't read about it. I just heard yes. someone was saying something about it. I don't even remember who. Well, but wait. I want to go see a slut parade. It was a girl right, walking in like anti-rape or something. Right yeah. Oh, that this is not an invitation yeah, to rape me thing? Yeah, let me guys give you guys a little party and have a nice day. But we look at August, we're going to read season a little bunch. Oh, I got it. You gotta do something sexual. Hey, do something wait, like lick wait, that pen or something. Wait, what kind of pen? Is kind of, Give the pen head. Does, does that have a lady on it? Oh my gosh, yeah, she's gonna disappear. Okay, I'm gonna ask one yeah. more time, and then I'm gonna split people up. Dude, I worked really hard to put that together. Everyone, just shut up! Calm your tits, bro. What the hell is your problem, bro? Seriously, I worked so hard to do that. Three. At this point, the only person talking would be myself or whoever wants to read that. Slut. But I thought this was an interesting article. It sounds kind of crazy at first because they're having a slut pride parade. And I, I, when I saw it, I was like, oh, I gotta read this. <laughs> Jessica, there's one thing off of it. Our off of it. Put them down. I'd like to move as well. No. Now, so it was interesting. I was like, slut pride, what's that all about? I read the, I read the article. And actually, it had a good message. But what it was was, there's a police officer, and he came to a college campus, right? And he basically said, um, you know, women need to, if they want to decrease their chance to get raped, they need to quit dressing like sluts. That's what his word, he used the word actual slut. And some girls took offense to this, and they were like, you're basically taking, you know, the, the concept of rape, right? And you're basically saying the burden's on us, not dress a certain way, and not putting the burden on a guy not to do this, right? You're saying it's our fault we got raped because we dressed this way. That's not how it should be. I agreed with her. Point. But I started thinking about this. I was like, yeah, they totally got a valid point. I, I totally understand. Come on, that's side of the sluts, right? And so I was like, yeah, well, that's a big ass. And then I started thinking about it. I was like, wait a minute. I might have missed everything the cop was trying to say. I don't think the cop was trying to say it's okay for a guy, you know, that you had it coming with by dressing that way. I think what he's saying is your chances of getting gay raped. Oh my God. What, what do guys think of I'll go with pot roast here. He's never had a girl, but let's use his, him as an example. Pot roast? Yeah. If you see a girl dressed real, let's just use the word they use, sluttily, right? And you're at a party, what do you think about that girl? Like, what, what, what in the back of your mind are you thinking? It's not something you want to take home to mom, but you're thinking what? Easy. Easy, right? Is that not true, though? No. You don't think people think that people think that way? You don't think I just gave you an example. I think about sex like every ten seconds. So they probably do. Shh, Megan, you're saying that's not true. I just gave you a guy, a young guy your age, his opinion. He said that that is true. You tell me why you think it's not true. Because just because you're dressed a certain way doesn't mean you're like easy. That doesn't. Didn't say that. What I said was, what does a guy think? He that he wants to bone them. Exactly. I banged the never on here. Point was, now, okay. there's three things we got going here, right? And I'll talk about all three of them. But, so I think these girls are right. And they decided, I'm going to have a slut parade. And show that you can dress however you want. And I shouldn't be a victim of anything you do. <laughs> Most rapes, I'm sure, are guy and girl, right? And there's obviously some girls that rape guys and that happens. It's weird. He's just a guy who's built by a sea belt. So, um, <laughs> what we've got here... This girl's made a good point, and it is true. If a girl doesn't want, you know, no matter how they're dressed, they should be treated equally, right? Unfortunately, society views things the way pot roast said, because they're easy. So you go up, you're at a party, you're like, hey, baby, let's hook up. She's been drinking a little bit. She's like, no, no, no. You're like, whatever, I'm not going to slot without your dress. And you just keep trying, right? And she's like, no, no, no. And next thing you know, it goes, David, your chances might have been diminished if you've been dressed for Is it right? No, I, I think the cop was just saying, if you dress that way, you're asking for trouble. Should it be that way? Of course not. But it's just giving you the basic facts. I think sometimes we get, as a society, we're like, we're offended by how people judge us or whatever, but it's like, we're speaking the truth. That guy shouldn't have been necessarily. So he came out later and he apologized. He said, that wasn't my intent, but my intent was just to say, studies have shown that if you dress a certain way, you have a better chance of being date raped or raped in general. 
So um, I guess my point was, um, what what's appropriate? I, I guess I'm getting too old fashioned. I had a girl come to me who was going to a job interview, and she goes, "How do you think I'm dressed?" And I'm all, "Honestly, I think you look like a hussy. I would not hire you. I want someone I want to hire for their brain." The thing I've always noticed is some girls might look hot in the way they dress or whatever. But after like two or three months, you're over. You're just like, whatever. I just want you to do your damn job. Yeah, you look good the first month, but now I'm over it. I've seen you every day. You're old and just get to work and take care of business. Now you got some ditso who's got, you know, a low cut shirt or whatever in there. And she's aggravating is what happens to everyone. Not all guys. Like, I can see someone like Shallow, like Spot Roast, but I just want to hire a girl because she looks hot. I don't care if she's hitting down. I don't care if my business goes down. I'm an idiot. Right? Yeah, but. <laughs> <laughs> My point. Yeah. So, any comments on that? No, everybody agrees with me. I think that girls that dress that way kind of are. Because like, if, if you like, why would you need to show it off if you like? There's no purpose. If you know you have it, like you, you don't, you don't dress like a, like a slut, and you know everybody knows you're good looking. But, all right. Oh. Uh, I don't know, I've always wondered that about girls too, but I see so many girls that are high school girls, the way they're dressed, and I'm all, if I had a daughter, she wouldn't be going out the door looking like that. And maybe it'd be a big fight and whatever, but I think she'd maybe understand that real, but I don't want my daughter going to school with her, you know, cleavage hanging out, her butt halfway, to, you know, and I just be like, I don't think that's the way to dress. But yet, I've watched your guys' 